Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's going straight through my nose, up to my eyes. Whew. I need a chip. Hello, beautiful friend. I hope you're having a great day. How are you? Please let me know down in the comments below if you are alive and well. The world is so different now than even just a week ago and I'm having such a hard time wrapping my brain around all of this. But I will say I'm super thankful to have this extra time at home. I have been catching up on Netflix shows and movies that I've wanted to watch for a long time. I'm obsessed with TikTok. I'm embarrassed by how many hours I have spent on that app. If you are not on TikTok or you don't even know what TikTok is, at least look it up or download the app because I am thoroughly entertained. I've also made a couple really funny videos this week, so you should follow me if you're not already. In the last 11 days, I've only left my house twice, I think. I've been going to physical therapy because that's considered an essential, so that's actually been a really nice outlet. But other than that, I've just been in my little apartment for 11 days by myself. We're all in this together. We're all cooped up at home and missing our favorite foods from all of our favorite restaurants, Taco Bell, Chipotle. Personally, I miss sweet green. So today I thought it'd be super fun to try to recreate one of my favorite meals I get when I go out. I don't know why, but I have been craving a Chipotle burrito bowl. I don't even go to Chipotle that often, but something about a nice stacked burrito bowl with the big scoop of guac on the top sounds so good to me. And I know I can just go to Chipotle and get it as takeout, but we're gonna challenge ourselves and learn how to make it today. Let's go. Okay, first thing we gotta do is get our rice going. I'm gonna use this short grain brown rice. Half a cup in a pot. And with rice, it's two to one. So we're gonna do one cup of water. Gonna get that cooking. And I'm gonna cover it just so it boils faster. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. So now we're gonna turn this down to low and we're gonna cover it and let it sit. Okay, while the rice is cooking, we're going to get our toppings ready. I'm trying to think when I walk through the line what I usually get and what the choices are. I know I always do brown rice with black beans and then I do steak. And then I'm pretty sure I just do pico de gallo, a little bit of sour cream, cheese, and guac. But the good thing about making this at home is that the guac ain't extra. First up is the black beans, super easy. I just got a can of black beans at the store for 99 cents. I'm gonna use my fancy can opener here. Let's open. We're just gonna drain the beans in a strainer. Now I'm just gonna transfer them into a Tupperware so that my leftovers are already ready to go to be stored in the fridge. Yum! Okay, now I'm gonna cut, that was really, okay, now I'm gonna cut some tomatoes for the pico de gallo. I'm like kind of allergic to onions, so I'm not gonna put onions in mine. If you're making this at home, you can definitely put onions if you like onions, but I can't eat onions, so I'm just gonna pretend and do the tomatoes. For this, you can use whatever kind of tomatoes you want. I'm using Roma tomatoes, but you can get the ones off the vine or even use the little baby tomatoes. It really doesn't matter, but again, I'm not putting onion in them because I can't eat them. Um, but I think I will add some salt just to bring out the flavor of the tomatoes. Yes, that looks so good. Today I'm using Monterey Jack cheese. I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and set it off to the side for now. Okay, now we're gonna get started on the steak. I picked this up at the store today. This is Beef for stir fry, choice beef. I don't really know what kind is best to get. You could probably get a regular steak and use that, but this was already cut up, so we're doing it. Okay, for this, we're gonna use three cloves of garlic, but I have this massive one, so I'm just gonna use one, but I'm also gonna use some red cayenne pepper, some cumin, this adobo sauce, black pepper, and salt. You're also gonna need a Ziploc bag. I don't have a big one, so I'm just gonna use this little Mickey one, but any bag will work. We're gonna start by mincing the garlic, and mine's so big, so I'm just gonna chop it up first, and now we're gonna mince it and add it to our Ziploc bag. I'm gonna open this can of adobo sauce. It looks a little interesting, so I'm gonna come back to that. Moving on to the pepper, we're gonna do one tablespoon of red cayenne pepper. This is a lot of cayenne pepper. I don't know, I'm probably gonna regret this later, but hey, I'm following the recipe in the bag. Now we're gonna do a teaspoon of cumin in the bag. Okay, back to the adobo sauce. My tablespoon doesn't quite fit. There's these chilies in there and you're supposed to just get the sauce. So you kind of have to work around it, do the best you can, but we're gonna add two tablespoons of this adobo sauce, whatever that means, into this bag, trying not to get the giant peppers. You might have to work at it a little bit. I had a really hard time. I'm nervous. 
Okay, in a bag, now we're gonna grind some black pepper and add some salt. Time to add the meat. We're gonna open this up and add the meat to our Ziploc bag. Whoop! This is gonna marinate for about 40 minutes or longer. We're gonna zip it up and then mix it together with our hands. Oh yeah. Make sure to get it all nice and coated. Oops, I forgot to add olive oil. We're gonna add that right now. The steak is almost ready. So in the meantime, we're gonna start on the guacamole, the part I am most excited for. All you're gonna need are two large avocados, lemon juice, a lime, some salt, and cilantro. So easy. I'm a big fan of guacamole in general, but something about Chipotle's guacamole is just next level. It's so, so good. I'm so excited to make it. Oh, yes! Did you see that? <gasps> Let's just do that again. The perfect avocado, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy. I don't wanna use this avocado now. <sighs> wow. Let's take a moment of silence. I need to take a picture of this. Okay, back to business. I have to ruin this avocado, but where you're going is gonna be much yummier. So we're gonna put these two avocados in a bowl. It's kinda hard, there we go. Be very careful taking the pit out like that one time. I did that and I went like this and it went straight through the avocado into my hand. Would not recommend. All right, I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. This is gonna be a lot of avocados now that I'm realizing. Okay, but that's how we like it. Cause we're making guac at home. We don't have to pay extra for that. Put on as much as we want. I'm gonna mash this up just a little bit so it's not as hard when I put the second avocado in cause this is gonna be a lot. Second avocado, let's see if she's as good as the first. Two, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day. This guacamole is gonna be extra special. All right, oh, it came out so beautifully too. Okay, Susan. I'm just gonna kind of mash Su Susan up a little bit. Ah! Wow, I don't think I've ever seen more perfect avocados. Wow, we are overflowing over here. Clean up on aisle seven. All right, now we're gonna mash this all up. I kind of like my guac chunky, so we're not gonna do it too much, but just enough to get it into that consistency. Now we're gonna add some lemon juice. You can just put a couple squirts in. And we're gonna squeeze half of a lime on top of that and then a generous amount of salt. Oh, this looks so amazing. Now we're gonna rip some cilantro leaves onto the top and mix it all together. All right, I need to taste test this to make sure it's okay. I'm using these Siete grain-free tortilla chips. These are the best tortilla chips ever. Um, this is the lime flavor because Chipotle has the lime chips, duh. The guac at Chipotle has onions in it, but again, I'm allergic to onions, so I did not put the onions in. But if you like the onions and you like that flavor, you can definitely add onions to this recipe. Here we go, moment of truth. Wow. That's freakishly close to Chipotle guacamole. Oh my gosh. Dang, and with the chips, with the lime. I need another bite. It's perfect. It doesn't even need anything. I thought I was gonna have to add some salt, but this is ready to go, man. Uh, I better put this away so that I don't eat it all before my bowl is ready. Ooh, guacamole tip for you. If you save the pit when you have leftover guacamole, put this pit back in the guac and it'll keep it or help it from turning brown. I'm gonna put this right back in the bowl until we're ready to eat it. Finally, it's time for the meat. It's done marinating. We're gonna take it out of the bag and put it onto a hot skillet. I just realized I forgot to add water. You're supposed to add water to all of those seasonings so that it can marinate in the liquid. Ooh. Whoops, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. So we're just gonna go with it and let this cook and simmer. The water's gonna cook out anyway, so I really don't think it matters. And now the assembly time. Let's put some rice on the bottom. We'll do our black beans next. Spread that all around. Here comes our meat. Oh, it's steamy. Yes. Okay, I put some lettuce on the top. Super fresh. Get our tomatoes on there and a hefty, generous scoop of guacamole that we don't have to pay extra for. Let's just add an extra scoop just because. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. Top it off with some cheese. And ladies and gentlemen, look at that bowl. 
Okay, now the moment of truth. I got all my things. Here is the bowl. It actually looks so good. This is pretty accurate, I would say, of what my Chipotle bowl looks like. I'm gonna be honest though, I'm a little concerned that I put too much spice on the steak because the whole time while I was cooking it, I kept sneezing, so I'm not a spice person. I don't do well with spice. I can't do hot things. Nope, 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 nope. So this will be interesting. Let's just dive right in. I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, the top is good, but I only got cheese, guac, and tomatoes. So let's see if I can get some of the meat down here. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's going straight through my nose, up to my eyes. This is so hot. Okay, I must have added like double the spice because oh my gosh, it's so spicy. Chipotle steak is definitely not that spicy. I'll change it in the recipe and if you like the spice, you can keep it, but dang. Ooh, I need a chip. Ooh, I'm sweating. Lesson learned, you don't need as much cayenne pepper as what I thought, but it's still really good. Like the flavors and everything, I'm impressed. This is a home run, man. Home run. Minus the spice. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna have to eat this in waves. Yay, this was fun. We got Chipotle burrito bowl, Chipotle guac. I hope you liked this video. Maybe I'll do like a little series of recreating your favorite meals and food from restaurants and fast food joints. Let me know if you like that idea. Drop a comment below if you do what your favorite fast food or restaurant item is and I'll try to recreate it. Hope you're having fun and finding things to keep busy. If you're not already following me on TikTok or Instagram, I'm always doing fun things on there so I'd love to connect. But if you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please subscribe, your support means so much to me and I've got a lot of fun videos coming your way. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.